In today's video, I'm gonna tell you how I traveled the world full time with just one backpack. So let's go. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from my little studio apartment here in Waikiki. About a month, month and a half ago, I hopped on a plane headed here to Hawaii with plans to continue traveling. I'm headed to Thailand next. And just like my international travel before, I wanted to travel with just one backpack. In the past, I did a couple packing videos. I did one when I first started and I actually had a backpack and a satchel. And then I updated that video about a year later, but my packing style and even my bag has changed. So I figured it was time to do an updated video. Okay, so first let me tell you why I travel with just one backpack. It's pretty simple. I hate checking luggage. I mean, I absolutely hate checking luggage. I like just walking on the plane with what I have and then walking off after the flight and head out into whatever new exotic place I'm at without having to worry about all that stuff. Plus, it kind of forces me to be a minimalist and travel with less. Although when you see how much I actually have in this bag, you're gonna be like, dude, you're not a minimalist, which is fine. So if you watched my previous video, you know I traveled with a 30 liter Osprey bag. And I love that bag. It's a great bag. I'll probably travel with it in the future, but I wanted to try something out different, something a little bit smaller. And the reason for that is when you're overseas, especially in Asia, when you're taking the budget Asia airline flights, a lot of times the overhead bin storage is super, super small and my 30 liter Osprey backpack would not fit above, you know, in the overhead storage. It also wouldn't fit underneath the seat in front of me. So I oftentimes would have to check that and that defeats the whole purpose of traveling with just one carry on bag, right? So I got this one because it is a 20 liter bag made by Nomadic but it's expandable to 30 liters. So right now it's in 20 liter mode and this thing will fit underneath the seat in front of me. I've tested it out, it definitely works. And let's, let me start showing you some of the features of this bag and what I've got inside of it. I know the Nomadic bag is kind of like gimmicky, it's like geared towards travelers. And I saw the commercials all the time, I got spammed you know, on Facebook with ads for it and I thought it was kind of gimmicky. But now that I've had it for a little while, it's actually really, really functional for a traveler. I'm not sponsored by Nomadic in any way, um, but I'm digging the bag. So one of the features is it's got all these like handles everywhere and they're really solid. And so you can carry the bag however you want. You can tuck in these straps to make it like a briefcase if you want. Uh, so that's really, really cool. There's also these magnetic water bottle holders. I sometimes use it for tripod actually to hold my tripod, um, but they're really convenient and they, they tuck away when you're not using them. So that's pretty cool. There's also a hidden pocket in here and you know you can hide cash in there or your passport or whatever. But uh, yeah, let's open this thing up. Actually, let me show you. So right now, like I mentioned, it's in 20 liter mode. All you gotta do is hit this zipper here and you can make it, oh, not this zipper. <laughs> Wrong zipper, we'll come back to that. All you've got to do to make, it, uh, to make it 30 liter mode is hit this zipper right here and boom. Now you've got 30 liter mode, gives you a little bit more space. I always pack it in 30 liter mode and then transform it in the 20 liter mode. So I just showed you this, but this is also a really cool feature for airport travel. When you're going through, or when you're going through the metal detector, oftentimes you have to take out your laptop. In many bags, you have to like get into the bag to do that. But with this one, it has this like easy fold down thing. I can take out my iPad and my 15 inch MacBook Pro and I'm good to go. I'm gonna throw everything on the bed so you can kind of see how much stuff I have in here. All right, so that's pretty convenient. And then you can just zip it right back up all right, so next up, actually I'll show you one more little feature here. So you've got this little pouch area here. This is usually where I keep my cell phone. It has a little hole in it, a waterproof hole, that you can run a charging cord somewhere, like to a 
battery pack so you can keep your cell phone charged right here. That's pretty cool. Right now I just have my, my earplugs in here. We're gonna come back to this bag in a second. I forgot to talk about what I have on. So one of the travel hacks, my first travel tip, is to wear your bulkiest stuff so you don't have to pack it. I, I haven't brought any pants with me this time. Normally I travel with two pair of pants. I travel with some Bluffworks trousers that look kind of dressy, but you can also hike with them. They're really thin though, they're really easy to pack. And then I also usually travel with a pair of blue jeans and I would just wear those if I was traveling with blue jeans. Since I'm going over to Asia, I know I'm not gonna wear pants very much. I decided not to bring pants this time, but as you'll see with how many pair of shorts I have, I could have easily swapped out some of those shorts with pants. You'll see what I have on here. I have some, some shorts that are just really comfortable to fly in. Underneath these shorts, I have a pair of underwear on. I have two shirts on right now. I always travel with a long sleeve shirt because it can get you know cold on the flight but I'll also have a short sleeve underneath it. So right here is already two shirts, one pair of pants or one pair of shorts, one pair of underwear. I would normally have socks on and I would have my tennis shoes on, which are the bulkiest pair of shoes I, I use. Um, so yeah, that's how, that's how I would fly. So let's talk about these shoes for a second. So I've mentioned this in other videos, but this is travel tip number two. Get a pair of black running shoes that are also kind of made for hiking and are waterproof. The reason for black is if you do have those pants with you, the nice pair of blue jeans or the bluff work slacks, you can pair them with these shoes and this long sleeve black shirt and you'll be able to get into the most exclusive nightclubs. I've worn these many times to really fancy places in Asia, in Europe, in South America, and I've never had anybody kick me out for wearing tennis shoes because these things are all black. So that's one of my little little travel hacks. Get a pair of black tennis shoes and you can and they'll also function as dress shoes when you go somewhere a little bit fancier. Okay. Let's tear into this bag now. So you have this first front compartment and in here I've got all my cords I've got a foldable toothbrush. I don't travel with very many toiletries. Since my name is 30 and a wake up, I usually live in a spot for 30 days and then I go somewhere else and live there for 30 days. So I travel with only two toiletries. I travel with a toothbrush and deodorant. That's it. When I get to a spot, I'll buy some um, bath wash, some Q-tips, things like that. I'll buy my toiletries uh, when I get to the spot I'm traveling to, but I always have a toothbrush with me. Uh, and obviously I have my charger and a bunch of cords. In here, we've got a wallet, and I'll come back to this in a second. And we have a passport holder, which to be honest with you, when I'm traveling, I'll have this around my neck. So I told you I would come back to this in a second. Let me grab my other thing here real quick. So this is gonna be more than a one bag travel packing video. It's also gonna have some tips and tricks that I use traveling. All right, so I've got three separate kind of wallet things here. This is my main wallet. It has my driver's license in it. It has a credit card, a debit card, and some cash. And usually I'll put my room key here too, so it's all just in one thing. Then I have another one that has the same thing, basically. It has a debit card, a credit card, and an ID card. It has my military ID. And then this last one, which I would normally be wearing around my neck, so this one would be in my pocket while I'm traveling. This one would be around my neck, and this one would be inside my backpack. So this little wallet here has my passport in it. It also has, like the other ones, it has a debit card and a credit card, All right? So I've got debit card, credit card ID, debit card, credit card ID, debit card, credit card ID. The reason I do that is if this bag gets stolen, I just lose this debit card, credit card, and ID. This one will be around my neck. This one will be in my pocket. If I'm out in town traveling, my, ba my bag's back in my apartment, 
This is in my pocket, it falls out, I lose it, I get pickpocketed. Back in the room, I've got two sets of IDs, two sets of debit cards, and two sets of um, credit cards. <laughs> so that's just the way, this makes me feel comfortable. And I've lost my credit card, debit card, and ID before. And that's when I kind of went to the system, when I had to go through all the hoops to get all that stuff back. It's, it's, it's a huge pain. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Maybe it's overkill, but it works for me. And that's pretty much it up here. Normally I'd put a bunch of other stuff like my travel documents and things like that up here too when I have those. So you can see there's plenty of space up there. Let's get to the meat and the potatoes of this thing. So when you open this, I also got space for different things. I don't really have that much in here as you can see. Um, so, but I could store other stuff in here. All right, this is where everything is. So in this bag, I'm not gonna bore you with too much of this, but I'm a YouTuber. This has all of my camera equipment, all of my sound equipment other than what I have on right now and what I'm using. I'm using my phone to record this. I'm using a little tripod that's collapsible to about this big. And I'm using a little audio device here. I'll just show you. I'm using a little audio device here. So that would also be packed in here. Inside this thing is all my other video equipment, my little gimbal, my bulldog head shaver right here, my beard trimmer, just about every piece of electronic that I need is in here. And then I have some cords and miscellaneous things as well. So I always carry a universal plug with me. So this thing works in a bazillion different countries. It has a bunch of USBs on it. It has a USB-C on it. I can use it in the UK. I can use it in the EU. I can use it in Asia. And they pack up pretty small. So highly recommend one of these. Another reason I have all my electronics in this little case is when you're flying in these budget airlines, sometimes they'll weigh your carry-on. And if it weighs over a certain amount, they'll make you check it. So before I go up to the ticket counter, I always pull this out and just carry it with me. And I also pull out my laptop and I pull out my laptop and my uh, I, iPad as well because they're both pretty heavy. So I pull out all of this stuff and just carry it with me. Like this is my little extra item I can carry on. And so my bag will weigh much less without this stuff in it. And once I get my ticket and everything, then I'll throw all this stuff back in. I've never had an issue with that. I also have my, this is my MacBook Pro cord. I usually get a really long MacBook Pro cord and a more durable one than the one that comes with it. And the reason I do that is because when you're in like hotel room, or when you're in apartments, sometimes your plug-in is gonna be not in a smart location. Sometimes the places I get, they're not built for you know, nomads, they're not built smartly. So I like having this really long cord. It allows me to you know, be able to use my laptop in my bed or at a desk that doesn't have you know, the proper plug or whatever. So highly recommend one of these. They're a little bit bulky, but to me it's worth it. Got my sunglasses here. There's actually a sunglass um, protector in this bag as well. I took it out because it's a little bulky. So, all right, these two things. So this right here is a raincoat. When you're going to Asia, you better have a raincoat because <laughs> you're probably going to get rained on sometimes. I've thought about getting rid of this and just getting like a little poncho that comes in those little packages because to be honest with you, most of the time I don't even have this with me when I'm out and about. I only grab it if I know it's going to rain. So I'm not sure how smart it is to take as much space uh, as you need for this thing in the bag, but I've been carrying it for a while. It's, it's really light and it packs up into almost nothing. So, you know, why not? All right, the next thing, is something I highly recommend. It's a smaller like day type of bag. So I've had this one for two years. It's like 15 bucks in Amazon. I'll link all this stuff down below, by the way, so you can go find it. This thing's like 15 bucks costs nothing. It's lasted me for two years. It's lasted really well. And it's just a little day pack. I can actually fit my 15 inch laptop in here. Now it's not the most protected thing in here, but I can fit my 15 inch laptop in this bag. 
And so, you know, I highly recommend doing that. And if for some reason the airline decides to check my bag, I can whip out this little bag and put like my valuable stuff from this bag in here. So I don't have to worry about this, you know, stuff getting stolen out of this bag. All right, next, I mentioned deodorant. Bam, there's some deodorant. Okay, I think that's everything that's not closed. So, I used to travel with a compression sack, but I found with this bag, I don't really need it. It doesn't like compress the stuff super well, but it has this separate compartment for clothes and which you, by the way, have access to here. So if I wanted to get it without having to go in here, I could get to my clothes here. I didn't feel the need to use compression sacks with this. So I could probably save even more space if I did use compression sacks. All right. So let me show you what's in here. I probably have too much, by the way. So I've got two pair of underwear. I'm actually gonna add one more. So I've got one on, I've got one here. Most of my shorts are lined though. So to be honest with you, normally I don't wear underwear. I go commando because I have a liner in my shorts that is basically underwear, right? The next thing we're gonna talk about is one of my favorite subjects. It's Moreno wool, specifically the company Unbound Moreno. For those that don't know, I've been wearing this stuff for a long time. I've been talking about it on my channel, on my Instagram. Eventually the company reached out to me and said, hey, we love that you're talking about our stuff. We'd love to give um, your, your viewers a discount. So they gave me my own code. You get 10% off, they give me 10%. If you go to www.unboundmoreno.com, you can order from anywhere in the world. They'll send it to you and you use code VANLIFE and you'll get 10% off. So it's pretty cool. The secret for me for traveling with only one bag is Moreno wool. I know what you're thinking, Kevin, wearing wool in Thailand, that's nuts. You've never wore Moreno wool. It is breathable. It works great in tropical climates. I'm here in Hawaii right now. I've got on Moreno wool. Every shirt I have is Moreno wool. The owner of Unbound Moreno has a video where he wore one of these shirts for 30 straight days in Thailand and didn't have to wash it. So that's the power of, of this stuff. I also have a video where I wore an Unbound Moreno sweater in Portugal. I think I wore it for 12, 15, 20 days, something like that. And I had my friends smell it and it didn't smell. I do wash my Unbound Moreno when I have access to a washing machine. But the good thing about it is, is you can wear this shirt for multiple days on flights, like let's say it's a two day trip from the States to Thailand, you can wear this shirt without worrying about smelling. Okay, I have way more stuff in here than I probably need and I'm probably gonna scale down in the future. So you saw that I have this long sleeve shirt. I have this shirt I have on, that's two. I have this red shirt, I'm trying to add some color to my wardrobe, that's three. I have another Unbound Moreno black shirt because I love black, that's four. Have another Unbound Moreno black shirt, that's five have an Unbound Moreno gray shirt, that's six. Have an Unbound Moreno light gray shirt, heather gray shirt, that's seven. That's a lot of shirts for me. Normally I would travel with three to four. So I'll probably scale that down. But that just tells you how much, you know, that you can travel with just one backpack if you're even more of a minimalist than I am. I also have way too many shorts. I'm trying out some new brands, so I'll probably scale down. One of the brands I'm trying out is Chubbies. So these are Chubbies. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I really like their shorts. So uh, this, is a, this is a pair of gray shorts. I'm trying to add something other than khaki to my, uh, to my wardrobe. So that's one pair of shorts. I have another pair of khaki shorts, Chubbies, two. I have another pair of chubby khaki shorts, three. I have a pair of swim trunks, four. These are Lululemon, by the way, they're great. I have two pair of workout shorts, one khaki, one darker green. So that's how many, how many what are we up to now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pair of shorts. That's overkill. I do not need seven <laughs> pair of shorts. So I'll probably scale that down to four or five um, as I start using this stuff. Okay. Last thing I have in this bag are some flip-flops. So I travel with two pair of shoes and all that stuff that you see on the bed, a ton of electronics, a 15-inch laptop, 
an iPad, a ton of stuff, a jacket. So it can be done. Um, you know, you can travel with just one bag and still have a ton of stuff. Imagine if you weren't a YouTuber and you didn't travel with this thing and you just travel with clothes. This, that would open so much space. All right, so I'm done. That's the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you like travel content, you're excited to see more of Hawaii, you wanna see some of Thailand coming up, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.